Just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. So, right, here's that medical symbol again, right? Just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, Jesus said to Nicodemus, this religious leader, the Pharisee, so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Wow, Jesus is using typology right there, you guys. And he said, so that everyone who believes will have eternal life in him. Isn't that amazing that some people will actually, some Bible scholars and stuff like that are like, oh, you don't want to get it too much into that typology, which is just types and pictures, portraits of Jesus in the Old Testament. Well, Jesus was into it. So was Paul. <laughs> you know, I mean, he just did it right here. So let's go back into it. Let's look, let's check it out. He said, so that everyone who believes will have eternal life in him. Because before that, he said, just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, and all those who looked upon that lived. So we'll get into that scripture right here. Numbers 21, it says, So the people spoke against God and Moses. Why have you brought us up from Egypt to die in the wilderness? For there is no food and no water, and we are disgusted with this miserable food. Which food were they talking about right here? <laughs> they were talking about the manna. The bread of heaven that was coming down that God was providing for them. It was kept keeping them very young and healthy and alive. It was the same food as angels, the Bible says. And they're complaining about it. And 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 it's sin. It's that's what it was. It was sin. So what is what happens after that as they were complaining about this miserable food? Then the Lord sent fiery serpents among the people so that they bit the people, so that many people of Israel died. Whoa, that seems pretty extreme, right? Well, God deals with sin, my friend. He has, there's this thing called God's wrath, and it will be dealt with. And it was dealt with, if you believe in Jesus, on Jesus. But if you don't want to believe in Jesus, it'll fall upon you. But if you believe in him, look upon him, just like that bronze serpent, you will be healed of that snake bite, which is sin, right? Satan is that snake. Sin was introduced by him through uh, our our great 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 grandparents Adam and Eve, who followed him and and did what he said, and and then they sin came into our nature. But you could be saved from this wrath of God that comes upon sin, and that's what's important here. So that many of the people of Israel died because of these venomous snake bites. So the people came to Moses and said, "We have sinned." So here they are confessing their sin, repenting. They're they feel sorry for their sin. We have sinned. That's important if you want to be uh, saved. You have to believe that first, that you are a sinner. Because we have spoken against the Lord and against you. Intercede with the Lord that he will remove the serpents from us. So God didn't actually remove the serpents. God doesn't really remove your sin when you're a believer because you still fall into sin once in a while. But what does he do? He provides healing and life through what? God tells Moses this. He says, and put it on a flag. What? Put that bronze serpent. He says, make a bronze serpent. Put it on that flag pole, which is the wood pole. And it shall become about what will happen. That everyone who is bitten and looks upon. Turn your eyes to Jesus, right? That's what repentance is. Turning to God. Everyone who looks at it will live. If you turn your eyes to Jesus, my friend, who was on the wood pole here, almost like a flagpole with a sign above him that says, Jesus, the King of Israel, Jesus, the King of the Jews, right? It was like a sign. The cross was a sign, like a flagpole. And Jesus hung on it like that bronze serpent, taking God's wrath instead of you. If you believe in him, you are freed from God's wrath. And you'll have relationship with God. And that's what happened here. So Moses made a bronze serpent and put it on the flag pole. And Numbers 21 continues. And it came about that a serpent bit someone. And then when he looked at the bronze serpent, who was a picture of Jesus, right? He lived. <laughs> All those who were bitten by this, this venomous snake and were dying, if they looked upon that bronze serpent on that wood pole, the picture of Jesus, they lived. He lived. Jesus gives you a way to live. The way, the only way to live is through Jesus, my friend. He lived. Jesus lived, my friend. Jesus. 
And then it continues, so that everyone, remember, this is what he quoted Nicodemus, this is what Jesus said to Nicodemus in John chapter 3, so that everyone who believes will have eternal life in him. For God so loved, this is the next scripture, Jesus said it, so God, right after that he said, so God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever, whosoever, or everyone, anyone who believes in him, turns to him, right? Looks to him, believes in him, will not perish, but have eternal life. That's for you, my friend. If you've never given your life to Jesus, that's that's the promise that he gives to you. And you can do that right now. Jesus told Nicodemus, that religious leader, he said, you must be born again. There's no other way. And Nicodemus was confused by that, but he was speaking spiritually. Would you like to do that? You can say a prayer right now, a simple prayer, and believe in Jesus and be saved right now, right where you're at. Stop what you're doing. You're going to be praying this prayer to God. You are praying to God. Ready? Here we go. Dear God, I know that I'm a sinner and I'm sorry for my sin. I turn to Jesus. I look upon Jesus on that cross who took my punishment for me. And he died on that cross and he shed his blood for me. But in three days, he was raised from the dead and he's alive today. I believe in him. I trust him as my Lord and as my Savior. I choose to follow him from this day forward. I pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, my friend. If you did that, heaven, all of heaven rejoices rejoices over one who repents, one who turns their eyes to Jesus and puts their faith and trust in him. And that's you, my friend. Hey, comment down below if you did that. I'd love to pray for you. Um, Also, don't forget to hit this playlist right here, How to Find Jesus in the Old Testament. You will be blessed by it, my friend. God bless you.